here at Forestville Cemetery in Bristol, Connecticut. In front of me here is the monument for Newton Manross, captain in Company K of the 16th Connecticut Infantry. He was killed at Antietam on September 17, 1862 in Farmer John Otto's cornfield. Manross was hit by a cannonball or artillery shell that ripped off his, uh, I believe it was his left arm. According to one account, it exposed his beating heart, one of the memories of one of the survivors of Antietam. This brownstone memorial uh, was put here in Newton Manross's memory by survivors of Company K, the, the fellows who survived the war, put here sometime after the war. It's about 13 feet tall, made of brownstone, and when I visited here several months ago, the memorial was deteriorating significantly, and as you can see, nothing's changed. There's a big crack down the back of the monument, runs, oh, nearly to the top. And what happens is with, with brownstone is water gets in these cracks, and then in the wintertime it expands and it causes deterioration. And Obviously, this monument could use a good cleanup, too, as you can see by all the, I believe that's leeching is what they call it. But anyway, the back of this monument, if that took a good whacking or, or was hit by something, that's going to fall off, and then this monument would be very difficult to repair. So hopefully, somebody will take care of this. I'm not sure how much money it would cost, but... Newton Manross was a brilliant man. He was a professor before the Civil War, acting professor at Amherst uh, College in Massachusetts. Helped raise a company of men in Bristol, Connecticut, and then he lost his life in Antietam. It sure would be a shame if this monument to him here in Forestville Cemetery in Bristol, Connecticut, were to be damaged further. Again, this is Newton Manross, Captain. Company K of the 16th Connecticut.